up here in the mountain up by Dave's house and here's a charcoal pit that someone just lit it was just lit just before we got here it's supposed to be smoldering and uh, this guy's not standing here paying attention to it the whole center of it burned out and there shouldn't be a flame like that and uh, he's gonna lose probably 80% of his charcoal if he doesn't smolder it out right away before dark and uh, it doesn't bother me at all because all this smoke here, we're about over two kilometers from our house right now, but all this smoke, when it starts smoldering tonight, it's all going to go down the mountainside because as the temperature cools at night, all the air goes down the hill, and our entire yard will be will look just like that, a giant cloud of smoke about 3 o'clock in the morning on a normal day. But uh, we get real lucky it's going to burn hard all night long. We won't get any smoke at all. I'll just laugh. But... Uh, the charcoal, charcoal is just absolutely, you cannot believe the smell of the smoke as it's, as it's burned. It's so thick and toxic, it just, it just burns, your no, burns your nose and your eyes, it makes your whole entire house stink, all your clothes will stink for a week. Good. Murphy's coughing already just from the edge of it. We'll get you out of here, huh? It's nasty. And the best, the worst thing, that big giant pile there, that guy's gonna want in a good day, that guy's gonna get six bags of charcoal out of it, maybe seven bags of charcoal, and that's it. 700 pesos for a whole truckload of wood. It's an actual crime. It's actually against the law. You okay? It's the smoke. Yeah, sorry.